Hi there. Uh, my name is Nevin Morrison. I'm the developer of Sportboard um, by Educate Soft. Um, this app's been in development for a fair period of time now, and I just thought um, it'd probably be valuable to take th people through a walkthrough uh, just to show the different features. Um, I'm actually a football, basketball, and rugby coach. I'm a teacher, a uh, computer teacher, um, and I also make apps obviously as a hobby. And so um, I want to take you through how I use this through my three different seasons football, basketball, and rugby. And I kind of use it differently throughout those three seasons. So um, I guess I'll start with football season, um, usually in the fall. Um, if you take a look here, I have some kind of previous drawings on there. Um, but I coach up in Camden, so I have an extra man here. Um, notice that we have the ability, first off, uh, to resize our players however we want. Um, I have a default ink size of there and different colors you can choose from. Um, but I can also adjust my ink size um, based on what my needs are, um, just with that little bar down there. Um, I have the ability to adjust the background, and it's going to save whatever I save as a default. Um, and I also have the ability to show numbers if I want. Sometimes it's uh, valuable to number players and those kind of things. Um, you can see that I had the lock players on, and so I was able to actually write over top of my players. If I hit the unlock button, you'll notice that now uh, my players are movable and I can grab and move those um, as I wish. Uh, I use this on my Surface Pro, and so I, I have a tendency to, to like that um, as a coach, uh, especially when I'm on the sidelines for basketball. Uh, I can draw up plays very quickly um, with the pen. It works really well with the pen, also works with the finger, um, but I find it even works um, better with the pen. Uh, so in football season, I spend a lot of time with this app. Um, usually I'll actually watch the video of the other teams uh, in the week before in preparation for our games. I watch usually on the TV, and then I just spend time uh, pausing the video and drawing up uh, their plays so we can prepare our defense for their offensive plays. And so when I do that, um, for example, if I drew up a play, something like this, I'd probably get the players in formation that they're in. Um, to begin with, so if they're in some kind of split back formation, a balance formation like this, I could have them set up like this. And then from here, I'd probably lock the players um, and then draw the routes. And so we'll say this guy's running what our route tree is seven. Uh, we could have this um, in Canada, we have motion up to the line. And then we could have um, uh, an eight there. Uh, we'll say running what we would call a two, a nine. Maybe we get these guys down here just doing pass protection. And we'll say we had our quarterback drop back and just for fun throw the nine. And so I could save this play. And like I said, by default, I have the white background here. You're, you actually can set your own background if you use this button. I'll show you that in the, in the basketball kind of side of things. Uh, and then I could type in here and I name this play pass 78291. Um, nine is the pass play. Now, if I want to save this so I can print this off later, and that's what I usually do, and then so I can take them on the field and have a, a, the opposite team's kind of playbook of the plays they've been running, uh, I can just click on Save down here at the bottom. And you can see um, by default what that does is actually adds a label to the top corner here, and then it actually names that play here so it's indexed, and I can just save this to whatever kind of default location I have that kind of set up to. In this case, I had it set to go to my OneDrive so it can save directly to the cloud. Uh, so I can access that from another computer as well. And I just hit save, and it's going to save that play for me. I actually already have that name there. Um, I also have full field option, okay, that I can click on here, and the same kind of features apply there, show numbers or whatever. Um, like I was saying before, you have access to video abilities within the app. Um, a lot of times I use this for different things. Um, I also teach some kind of sport performance and phys ed classes, and so... I use this as well for that, but I could also use it for football scouting, put all the video um, on my tablet and then move from there. I'm um, just showing you those, some of those features. Uh, the last video that I had on here was um, myself and my son actually working on 40s, um, just kind of working on his form. And so if I seek through the video to kind of where we start, so I can use the seek, I can also slow down the speed or speed up the speed. Okay, if I want to scroll really fast, I can go there. I want to slow us down slow motion, which is more common that we do the slow motion kind of to take a look at what we're doing. I can do that as well. You also have the ability by default right away to, to also draw on that. Uh, for football plays, that works pretty well. Um, and you can see we're just working on basic 40 starts here. Uh, I have my surface set on the floor for that kind of functionality. 
I'll obviously have a spit up. I'm not that fast. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so that's the video functionality of the app. Um, moving on to a different season um, that I kind of, the next season after football season that I use my app for uh, is basketball season. And so, basketball season, you can see that I've, I've picked a, a custom background. And so, you have the ability to add any kind of JPEG image or PNG image as your background. In this case, I chose, um, I made kind of a custom background. Of, of where Winston Churchill Griffins and so I made that custom background sometimes I find that that custom background on the sidelines for my girls is a little bit distracting uh, and so I'll bring down the kind of opacity of that background a little bit just with that slider or even sometimes I'll just go clear background and go back to the default background uh, which I find a little bit less distracting um, for my girls um, on the sideline when I call timeouts um, I can show the plays in different formations I'll show you about how I can set those different formations um, when I go through the rugby stuff. But I usually over on the left hand side we have presets here. So say I wanted to, for example, um, save a different formation. We have a kind of a four high formation that we sometimes do. Um, and if I wanted to set my players there, set the defenders, we'll say they're just in a man defense. Um, I could go set and then I could go one and then Anytime I want to get back to that formation, I just click on the button one, and it's going to animate quickly to that. Um, so I use that a lot in basketball season. Same kind of thing. If I want to save these plays, I can. Uh, you have the ability to show referees. I've had referees want to use this, and they can save their locations too. Um, uh, referees have used this for clinics sometimes this app, and I had a request to add referees, so I have that option there. You can always hide defense if you want to just draw up the offensive side of things. Hide offense if you want to look on defensive stuff um, and like I so showed before if I lock the players I can't move the players and then I can write over top of the players and draw whatever I want um, so some features there um, so that's kind of how I use it in basketball season again you kind of have full court options here and again that ability to if I want to kind of pick my own background uh, I can just go into the files there and grab a background and, and that will be added there however I want um, now let's take a look at some of the animation features. Uh, I'm currently in rugby season right now, so um, I was just actually, let me get rid of those, I'm gonna hide those referees, I don't want them out there. Um, anyway, so uh, in rugby season, I was just kind of drawing up a minute ago, uh, this play that we call M3L, it's just a simple loop play, a uh, very simple back play. Um, and so I was actually screencasting with the same software that I'm using right now, Screencast-O-Matic. Um, uh, this play and so I would walk through step one pressing the buttons on the left here using those presets then I moved to step two we we're passing the ball from the nine to the ten step three there was a miss pass step four pass out to this guy and then we have step five we can move the ball here and then possibly another miss pass on the outside there and so you can animate um, for your players I often do that on the smart board or whatever um, since I'm a rugby coach and there's different kinds of rugby as well. You have the option for 15s rugby, 10s rugby, 7s rugby um, um, because there's different versions. And again, um, a lot of the sports I have full field and half field options for you. Um, I think that's a basic rundown of the plays or of uh, this uh, basic app. Um, hopefully you find it useful. Um, see you next time.